been asking me, how should I pray for my marriage for God to answer? What are the ways to pray for my marriage restoration? So in today's video, I am sharing with you how I pray and attract God's quick miraculous intervention into my marriage situation. Yes, God answered my prayer almost immediately. And I believe he will answer your own too if you follow this things the prayer pattern the way i pray and also do it the same that is why you need to watch this video to the end and also do well to put down every important details that i'm going to share in this video because it will really really help you and i know that god does not lie he will definitely perform his word and he will definitely do his miraculous power he will show you that love that power that miracle in your marriage situation and your marriage will definitely be turned around for good as you believe and do these things that i'm sharing with you yes god will definitely make a name for himself in your marriage situation in jesus Christ's name amen so as we were having a lot of problem in my marriage as i was having issues with my husband up and down now, wow the guy come decided to tell me one day bad girl stay away stay away from me i don't want to see you again i don't want to see you around me wow my head come blow he say hey has he reached this level that you, you are separated from me that you don't even want to see me oh god what has the enemy done in my marriage my husband even get my tell me nah girl stay away i'm not even sure that this marriage is going to work again see he was even like not even sure whether <laughs> this marriage will work so what am i saying you understand this the level that god perform the, the the level that god perform his miracle because the marriage was already like separated and everything was turning upside down. But how did I, how did I pray? I know it's not by my power. Please, that is what I want you to understand. I'm not saying I did it by myself. No, but I'm just sharing with you the pattern that I used to communicate to my father. And he answered me almost immediately. And I know that if you follow this pattern because it lies in this world he would definitely honor his word for he said that instead of him not to honor his word let heaven and earth pass away yes so sister make sure you follow through and see everything that i did how i prayed for god to answer me immediately yes because i tell you the truth that within seven days of separation the miracle of the Lord manifested. And I know you will give me this testimony. Also, as you believe, okay? Yes, God will do it for you. So, after my husband announced that he's not interested, that he's not sure that the marriage will work, that I should stay away from him, and that he's not interested, it was then that it was done on me what the enemy was doing in my marriage, that the enemy was determined, was bent, to destroy my marriage completely okay but god is god god is god god is no man yes god is god and not a man so my dear sister during that time of separation which was serious i decided to use that moment to do something very important okay listen listen very attentively i decided to use that moment to seek god so this led to the first way that i pray i remember the word of god that jesus christ said that this kind of problem will not go away except through fasting and prayer so i decided to go into fasting i fasted with all my heart and the point of this fasting was father i come to you lord i am here i am submitting to you please take charge of me please take control of my life please have mercy 
I am coming to you as a prodigal son. This is how you should go. Remember, here it's not that you just jump in and start saying, Father, please, I'm bringing my marriage to you. We're fasting for your marriage. Fasting for your marriage, you must first submit yourself to God. That was the point of my first day because I didn't know where the marriage was going in. As at that point, within myself, I was lost. I don't know anything. But I remember that God said I should submit. That if I come to him and submit my body and submit myself to him, that he is going to take care of me. So I decided to submit to God. Remember, pay attention to the way that I pray. Yes, I fasted for seven days, morning till evening, six to six. This is the way I did it. You may do it more than that, or you may do it less than that. I am not saying you should fast like that. But during this fast, the first most important point of focus was, Father, please forgive my sin. Forgive me in everything that I must have done wrong throughout my life from beginning, from when I was small, even till now, I know not left or right. I don't know how to go. Please, God, forgive me. That is the first thing you must do. Ask God to forgive you of all your sins. Confess your sins to God with all your heart. Decide in your heart and repent from it. If you desire happiness in your home, you must let go of your sin through confession to God. Fast and ask God to forgive you because if your way is not right with God, he will not do things for you. Yes, that is what he said. He said that we should make our way to be right with him. We should seek him first and repent of our sin for the hand of the lord is not shortened neither is here he cannot hear no our father can hear everything but it is only our iniquity that is a barrier between us and god so this is the first way to attract god into your marriage immediately total submission to god total submission to god ask him for mercy ask him for forgiveness ask him to wash away all your sin now the next way that i follow immediately after submission immediately ask after asking father to take charge of my life i now pray for total submission to god's will total submission to god's will i didn't remember the word of the lord jesus as he said that my food is for me to do the will of he that sent me for me to do the will of my father that sent me so if jesus being the son of god here on earth determined to do the will of father who am i who am i for me not to do the will of father so that second way that i prayed with all my heart was father from today i am determined to do your will do your will and father i am begging you for you to do your will in my marriage situation if it is your will that me and my husband be divorced yes i know it's all my wrong i know i've done a lot of mistakes a lot of wrong i do not i don't deserve this forgiveness so lord please do your will let thy will be done it is very important that you submit entirely to god's will it is only god that will give you perfect restoration i know a lot of people will tell you come the resource of thing do this do that you you get this you get the result you may get it but it is not the perfect lasting peace if you want that perfect lasting restoration this is a proving way that god will answer you immediately your life is not yours so give it back to god and see if he will not do his miracle in your life total submission to the will of god that is how you should pray
Do not say, Father, I want this. Father, I want my husband to do this. Father, I want my husband to do this. Father, I want my husband to. Even Jesus, while praying, even while he was about to face death, our Lord Jesus, even being the Son of God, was saying, Father, if it pleases you, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not by my will, but according to your will. According to your will. Let thy will be done. So Jesus submitted his life to God Almighty. And God is perfect. He is yes and amen. He would definitely rise up and perform his word. Submit to God. Perfect will. Do not be the one to detect how God is going to restore your marriage. This is a mistake that a lot of us are doing. Do not detect to God how he should restore your marriage. I know you are praying. What I'm saying is that pray in total submission to the will of God. Do not say the will of God for me is that I should suffer. You don't know the will of God. Am I talking to you? Please, from today, relax. Just do what God said you should do. Submit yourself. Submit your life. Pray to him. Believe in his power and rest in his will. Remember, God's will is always good and not evil. And he will definitely perform your faith for you. For Jesus said, let it be according to your faith. So if your faith lies in God, that God will do what he says he will do. That God will give you that happiness. That God will restore your marriage as he promised you that if I come, submit my body to him that is going to take care of me. When you trust and believe that God will take care of this body from you, your faith will set you free in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Am I communicating? It is very important. Okay? Yes, my beloved sister. That is the second way. The third way that I am setting in my heart that now everything is that I pray to God. Father, from this moment, from this moment, my life is none of self and all of you. What I mean by that is that, Father, I'm not going to walk on my own understanding again, but I will only follow your way. I will only follow your commandment. I will do the things that you command me to do. In my marriage situation, as you said that I should submit to my husband, from today, I am going to submit to my husband. As you said that I should focus in doing the right thing and I should live a righteous life, that from today, I am going to live a righteous life. As you are giving me this new opportunity, please, Lord, help me to live this life, none of self and all of thee. That's total submission to whatever God wants from me in my marriage and in my life general. Yes, so through this prayer and fasting, I submitted entirely to God and I now ask him, Father, please take charge of my life. From today, my life, my marriage, everything about me is none of self and all of thee. I pray to God and he answered immediately. Am I communicating? And my dear sister, during this fasting, another point of prayer that I focused on was ask God to speak to my husband in a language he should understand. Because at this point, I was struggling on my own to talk to my husband, to, to correct him, to do things that are not within my power. I was struggling on my own, speaking, 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 but it was not hard. So I decided to withdraw myself and let my father speak. It is very important. My beloved sister, stop the talking, stop the nagging. Stop the pushing and let God speak for you. Commit your husband to God. Ask God to speak to your husband in a language he will understand. This is very important. 
And that means that you yourself must stop the talking. It's very important. Please, stop the angry, pushing, quarreling if you want this prayer to work. Because when you submit something to God for God to take charge, you must withdraw. You must stay away from those things so that God will do his work. If you are saying another thing and doing another thing, our father will just go and sit down like this and watch him. It's okay. Since you can do it, do it now. Am I talking? Am I communicating? So, you must submit your husband, submit your marriage situation for God to handle. Please, please and please. This is how God immediately rises up to perform it for me and i know he will perform it for you as you trust in him as you believe in him as you depend on god as you submit to god entirely this is very important my beloved sister so decide in your heart that as from today my life is none of self none of my desires like i want this i want this i want this i am hot I feel pain. I feel this. I feel that. Let it be. Father, let thy will be done. That is the simple, straightforward way. That is how it works for me. That is how it works for Jesus Christ. Even as blameless as he was. Even as sinless as he was. Even as foresighted because he saw his dead with his own eyes. He would have run away, but he submitted to God's will. But now, the Bible has assured us that he is seated at the right hand of God. So, total submission to the will of God is the key for your marriage restoration. That is how you should pray. That is how you should believe, my beloved sister. So, I know that sometimes you may be confused. Do well to check the description of this video. You will see my contact. I am encouraging you to reach out to me. I am here for you. We will restore this marriage. We will send the devil back to where he belongs. Your marriage is not a mistake. Whatever you declare, whatever you believe, whatever you trust, God will do it for you. The third stage that I pray after submitting forgiveness and submitting the next thing was for me to commit my husband and my marriage into god's hand and god granted it up to me for he promised that if i seek first the kingdom that every other thing will be added and i'm telling you from my heart that god is faithful god is faithful he definitely added even more than what i was expecting now my marriage is totally i mean totally completely restored with full happiness love understanding and everything that i've ever desired and i know your own will be restored in jesus christ's name amen so do well to subscribe to this channel if you love content around us because i am motivated to encourage you to take charge of your marriage in this channel i focus on how we can solve all our marriage and relationship issues so that we will live a happy life that god destined us to live yes we are to be happy so do well to subscribe to this channel i am encouraging you to do so if you are yet not to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and remember to turn on the notification please turn on the notification so that each time i release the content you will be notified i love you so much remember to like this video so that the youtube algorithm will push it to as many ladies as possible put it down in the comment section god would definitely answer my marriage prayers in jesus christ's name amen god will answer your marriage prayers as you believe and pray rightly through your faith May it be so for you as you prophesy in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please and please and please do not ever forget in your heart that 
Jesus Christ love you and I love you too. Bye bye. See you in my next video. Please check the channel. You will see series of video like this that will give you a guide on how to restore your marriage. I love you so much. Bye bye. Till we meet again. Bye.